1995. Another wet final. Tian Strauss captains Western Province for the last time before joining a rugby league outfit in Australia. And I think on their own put in, they've had 100% possession. John Allen will want to improve his strike rate, looking for Romoir, Romoir and finding him. Good running this by John Allen. Very nuggety hooker is John Allen. Putt. Now there's a chance for Natal. This is Henry Honeyball. This is great ball for Natal once again. Lacroix. They've already got the advantage of the penalty. Well, a try has been given to Cabos for the best days in the top Curry Cup try scorer this season. And uh, once again, a great opportunistic try for him. Well, even Cabos van der Westhuizen will uh, admit to having a little bit of luck on his side there as the ball was pumped up quite beautifully by Terry Lacroix. Just watch here as he finds Henry Honeyball, and Henry Honeyball makes every effort to retain possession, and the ball coming back so quickly. And look at that pass from the big French Rumar. Cabos van der Westhuizen chases up, the bounce favours him. And just look at that well. Close to the touchline. The rain pelting down. Can he strike this straight? It's going to swing in. That's a great kick that from Lacroix. He just makes it over the crossbar. They're both packs struggling to get a foothold. But this time with the usage of the right boot. This is Chester Williams. Western Province have the opportunity, but that was poor play by them and a misunderstanding now. James Small. Timus Lenny finding himself in all sorts of trouble. Black and white jersey swarming all over the park. Now Ken Natal makes something on this wall. A penalty will go against Western Province. Four points the difference. Lacroix looking to stretch it to seven. Once again, three steps, he's struck it straight. And in such conditions, Thierry Lacroix, possibly the best kicker in these conditions, Gavin. He likes to just stab at the ball, doesn't get a lot of height on it. Now, Mornay Frisser just making sure that that ball's a bit dry through usage of the towel. Lacroix. Always wonderful balance from the Frenchman. Western Province with plenty of men on the outside. This is Tian Strauss. Can he get over? I think a try has been given because the touch judge kept his flag down. And I think it will go the way of that man, Tian Strauss. And that's a great score for Western Province. Well, as mentioned earlier, we uh, said that ball retention was going to be very uh, important today. And just look how Western Province turned over possession from Natal there. And big Tian Strauss, possibly one of the best drivers on the foot with the ball in hand. And just look how Mattel men come in in numbers. Mornay Fissa lends his support. John Allen gets the message from Kevin Putt. And the way that Olivia Huma is going, he could always go to the man in the middle. Jumps so well. Getting the ball in front of these forwards. Western Province again indecisive. And uh, really an undisciplined action here. Just have a look at that. Big uh, Henry Honeyball going in for the ball and big Louis Blanc. Well, to illustrate just how important this kick is, of course, it will push the Natal lead to eight points, which would mean that Western Province would have to score twice. That's going through the mind of the Frenchman. He's done it. Could this be the last move of the 1995 Benfin Curry Cup?
time to do what he wishes to. That's Lacroix's kick over the goal line. And the referee's final whistle then, and that is it. The tell are the Bentham Curry Cup champions for 1995. And just look at the elation on the face of Gary Tashman. Nineteen ninety six. Remembered for the brilliance of Andre Hubert, and it wins him the title of the Rolls Royce of fullbacks. Protect by Johan Wu. This is Joe Gillingham. And then Yapi Moda. The first time Transvaal looked like they could do something. This is Van der Vault. But that was great play there for Andre Dupont. He just read that so well. Well, that's better play coming from Transvaal. There were a few errant tackles coming from the tell there. And uh, Dick Muir and Henry Honeyball, which you don't normally see. Well, the penalty is going to be given here to Transvaal. And that penalty is given against Robbie Kempson, Tony. Francois Pinard came through and uh, Robbie Kempson, for some rhyme or reason, just gave him a shove in the back. In fact, uh, has scored in the history of Transvaal Rugby the most Curry Cup points and the most points all told first class in a season. Still 25 points behind Johan Yenis' record. This could be a start for him. He's held his nerves in tow all season. Can he continue to do that? Maybe that was some resurrection then for uh, Gavin Lawless, who was holding on to the ball on the ground, but all eyes on Federica Mendez. Tashman pushed himself up in the line-out to provide some pressure and allow Atherton with a clean catch. Now, quick through the hands, will it be? This is Honeyball, beautiful run by Honeyball. Is this going to be a try? It's Jeremy Thompson. Well, just as you were talking about quick ball through the hands, uh, Henry Honeyball sold a little dummy and shot through the hole there. And uh, Jeremy Thompson always looking for work. He's a very good centre player. And uh, that's very, very crucial in this match. Let's see if we can pick up Henry Honeyball's little dummy here. Good possession coming from that line out. Dick Muir comes for the switch. And isn't that fine play coming from Honeyball as he draw Lawless onto him? Well, a lot of it has had to be defence, and uh, the big question is, will Transvaal lose a Curry Cup match for the first time this season? Tashman at the back, and then Putt, good control, this is uh, James Small. Few opportunities for him uh, in this match, but that was good control by him. Now, Honeyball. Again, doing well to get over the advantage line. It just gives his forwards the opportunity of keeping going forward. It looks like uh, Natal are going to get a penalty if they don't finish this off. Advanced referee waiting for advantage. Well, they came back for it, and this time Andre Jabeur decides to take it. A quick kick. That was perhaps not a quick, not a, the right decision at the time, because uh, that was a very kickable penalty goal. And uh, well, luckily for Andre Jabeur, Natal still have another opportunity. It's an uncompromising battle, but uh, certainly there's going to be opportunities for both of these teams. And will fitness be a telling factor? Honeyball. It was easy for him. Lineout still belong to Transvaal today. And his, uh, his throwing in has uh, become more accurate in the second half. Kevin Putt, that's the charge down. He's in all sorts of trouble. This is Dalton. Now, can Transvaal make something of this? They've got men plenty on the outside. Great tackle there from Dick Muir on uh, the uh, Transvaal players. Again, this is Gavin Johnson, Francois Pinar, Gillingham on the outside. This is Lawless. 
Johan Ru there are plenty of Transvaalers out here. Kerbis Visa couldn't take. Well, they're going to have to come back some distance. It's a penalty that's been given against Natal for being offside in the back line. And there's terrific speculation in this crowd as to what the result could just be. Absolutely no bother for Lawless. Penalty goal number five. And... Uh, our Transvaal just perhaps a little bit slow in terms of getting to uh, the point of breakdown on occasions, that Transvaal. Alan Fivey and then uh, Henry Honeyball, back foot is putt. There's men on the outside. This is Thompson, the switch to Japan. This is a great try. And the reason why was because he came in at terrific pace. Well, that's what the people came to Ellis Park to see, and really, that's got to be one of the tries of the season, Gavin. It was uh, done to perfection right from the build-up. Henry Honeyball managed to get the pass out to Kevin Putton. He's probably the best man to have found the ball in hand. Thompson senses Jabeir looming up, and just look at the pace of this man. He just seems to get better and better with age. That's a nail-in-the-coffin type try. Rital then up. 18 points to 15, back in the lead. It certainly is a seesaw battle. And Honeyball's got it. Still five points the difference. Tashman, putt, again Jaber. This is great running by him. Well, can he finish this off? That's the brilliance of probably the best fullback in the world. He sometimes makes this game look just so simple. Well, he really does make it look really simple at times. And uh, in the first half, he sort of just hovered. We didn't see much of him. When the ball got to him, he cleared for touch. And that really was a touch of genius. Just watch here. Uh, all set up from Gary Tashman, who uh, senses that Chris Rousseau is quite close. Jobert running at pace off that pass, goes into a gap. James Small is looming, but really he says to the rest of the team, I'm going to do it on my own. And uh, that's really a fine tribute to a man that's had an outstanding season in South African rugby. But uh, credit to, to the machine that they've, been playing, that they've been playing against today because it's well drilled, it's well organized, and it's a confident side. Scrum put in, which goes Natal's way. Mark Andrews took some time to get up there. Well, the referee is going to blow his final whistle. We've heard the hooter here at Ellis Park, and uh, that's the finishing touches to what has been a rather spectacular final. So it had come true. A Curry Cup final at Norwich Park Newlands, but not against the Sharks as everyone had expected. This was to be a showdown against a very informed Free State Cheetahs. Fans of both sides were boldly predicting a win for their respective teams. Dick Muir leading his team on. Definitely grow from the 50 odd thousand people here today. Total sellout at Norwich Park Newlands. No reason why these two teams should change the tactics that have got them so far this season. Both playing incredibly attractive rugby. But secretly, no one was 100% sure, as the two sides were very evenly matched. De Beer going short. Beautifully taken by Louis Blom. The first few minutes were to set the pulsating tone of the encounter. He can't get it. Western Province looking to just try and tame those free state cheaters up front. The question is that that's a more once it becomes stationary now, which it doesn't do because Western Province come away with it in the form of Corday Quicker. For Lyon. Switch to Skinstat. James Small. Good possession is for Western Province. Montgomery. Bottled up in the midfield by a really tigerish Free State defence, but they went down on the ground. James Small unable to get 
to pick up. Well taken on by Hilchot Muller. Now Chris Bardenhorst and Peter Rousseau with a chase. Bardenhorst with a catch. He hasn't made the Springbuck team, but uh, those days will come, no question. Drotsky. Free State will want to regroup and just again try and get those forwards of theirs running off in the right angles and the right channels. Line. But it will swing away. Any the loose boards, but the tight forwards too. Western Province ball. Kun. A little kick has worked well for him. Picked up by Aitken. Free start well organised in defence. They're standing right across, but it's well taken by Montgomery. Now Justin Swart for the corner. Potential ball catcher. The win out to Montgomery. That's good play by Montgomery. Now we saw it. State have now overtaken Western Province and that might well be an ominous sign. 14 minutes left. And Free State really coming into their own on fences that Western Province are really going to be threatened in these last 15, 14 minutes. Beautiful running by De Pierre. De Pierre, can he get in? He almost glided through. Erasmus. And then he drops the pass. Moore isolated himself. But they'll come back for the scrum down. And, uh, well, that was a crucial situation, of course, but Free State still on the attack. Else at the back. That ball going forward, so Western Province, well, it's interesting, the referee's decided a penalty is being going to be given. The points on, on offer today have been rather scant. Superbly converted by the PR. Fantastic kick by the beer. The wind is swirling a little bit here. So it looks like Pierre Arnold has made uh, an entry onto the field as the flank replacement. De Beer looking to drop goal from a huge distance. That was well inside his own half of the field. But he knows there's only two minutes left on the clock. Now Quinn is standing wide. Can he get the position he wants? Tap down. Taken by Fonda Linda. Kuhn with a drop. Has he got it? No. no. It's all about controlling possession for Free State and for Western Province obtaining it. De Pierre. Bardenhorst. Beautifully around Peter Rousseau. The hoist from him. He's short. Can he get up there? Back for Justin Swart, it's been saved. Barton lost at scrum off, down the line it goes, there's men on the outside. AJ Fenta, Hohart Miller, one hand from right, but the pass is forward. Really getting away from it there, Free State, that pass going forward in that last, last dying moment. This is the last kick of the match. Put into touch, and that's it, says the referee. The ownership of the Curry Cup is back at Newlands after 11 years. Can we 
please have the Western Province captain Dick Muir to accept the trophy here for Western Province. Western Province! The famous jerseys come and are at it again, North versus South. Selborne Boom, he will also tour with the Springboks. Corne Kriche is there as well, and let's hope that he has better luck than he had last, in last year's final. Nicky van der Valt, three brothers all who played top-class rugby, Dan van Sale behind Bobby Skinstad. Big responsibility on Dan van Sale as well. And it was 10 years ago that Christian Stewart played in a final here in 1988. Can you believe that? Van der Westhuizen, Smith, will his uh, injured hamstring stand up to the strains? Now there's a big scuffle going on between Andy Marinos and Danny van Skalkweg. Selborne Boom, but it's Kano Otto who secures the ball for the Bulls. Just trying to get the ball rolling, and that's good momentum by the Bulls forwards. Van der Westhuizen, Smith, Van Skalkveik. Oh, that's a beautiful move. This is Conrad Breitenbach. He could go all the way. It's a great tackle by Peter Rousseau, but Breitenbach has touched it down for the Bulls. Ja, nee, die WP had het niet verwacht, nee. Zo belangrijk om je stil kan veel in je achterlijn bewegings in te brengen. Van Sal, Marinos, when uh, Skinstad was in the move, Van Sal again. He has a good ability to back up, does uh, go down Van Sal, but now we have Van der Westhuizen in full flight. Snowman on his outside, he has plenty of pace. Lovely pass for Van Meyer. And Van Meyer's a tough man. Now, can Brayton Pulsar hold him off? He can't! Yeah, nee, Van Meyer is a very great and strong player. And it's Hannes Henter, who has a long time to go to Juist van der Westhuis, and this is the beginning. Joost het die bal gekryd, gesien na sy gaping. André Snijman het op die rechte tijd uitgegee. Prachtig kom Van Meijer binnenkant toe. Klok twee manne, onder andere van Bobby Skinstad. Stamp van Breitenpolse af. Tracy Lou came off the field. Van Sale, Stewart, Marinos. Oh, that's a good day by Andy Marinos. Now, he's got Robbie Fleck in support. He could have maybe kept that in hand, but Peter Rousseau is giving chase. So is Robbie Fleck. It's carried over. The mayor must now create something. Skin set holds. Fansell goes. Look at that. Tackled backwards. If that ball doesn't emerge, it no does. Here for Tox van der Linda. And it's Sean Moran. And they've done it. Have Western Province. And that's good pressure by them. And finally, the Bulls' defense is cracked. Now Bobby Skinsett got the first touch there, but the Bulls have it. Van der Westhuizen, Williams back, and out on the full. Okay. Williams quickly in to another replacement. I think that's uh, Johan van Weyck. Yes, it is. Chance here for Kricha. Gets it to Christian Stewart. The crowd is screaming, tackle, tackle, tackle. That's fine. And Province with some fresh legs on the field. We've also got uh, the Corvus Fasafi going in there. Now it's Horty Lowe who lays it back nicely. Van Sale was there. Last feet, blue. Last feet. Boom drives it Go over on. the Bulls 22. Van Sale, Cliff, uh, uh, Marinos rather, Go Stewart. On. Chester Williams was far up. The bounce is perfect for him and he crashes in. This game has come alight. He's at the front of the line-out. Johan van Weyck will feed. Lowe gets a touch for Carstens. It comes now over to Rue, and they move it down along with a bit of a uh, 
Yeah, and then it's been knocked on by Pubbins, and now this good back that comes away with it. Well, Van der Best has needs to do now is get and hoof it out. And the Watson says that's it. The goals are the 1998 Bankfin Curry Cup champions. They've held out. It was a magnificent effort that by Western Province. They tried and tried and tried again, but the Blue Bulls have held out and just from the best days and is as happy as happy a man as you could get. Mue. Sorry Silas, if we can just squeeze across and get the bottle out. There we go. Yes, don't forget that. That's for you and your team. Andre Hubert is always a threat from the back. The young centres, Joe Gillingham and Jeva Halstead, have done very well. The referee in his fourth consecutive Bankfin Curry Cup final is 41-year-old Andre Watson, the only South African referee who is going to this year's World Cup. So the Sharks will be playing from left to right. There are Lions supporters here at the Stadium Kings Park. There's no problem with the sun, there's no problem with the wind, and it's Clinton van Rensburg who will begin the last Bankfin Curry Cup game and final of the millennium. Labaskafni. Picked up by Willy Meyer. Well, the Lions are a little bit slow to clear that ball. Marius Morstert eventually the one who passes it almost into no man's land, but Danny van der Walt has done well. Johnson. Well, that's not a bad kick by Brett Johnston, taking the pressure off LaRue. Feed it, feed it. Fenter, Johnson. Looking for a bit of space. When he does get a bit of space, Brett Johnson is tremendously quick off the mark. Now, Willie Mayer drives it over the Sharks 22. LaRue. Fenter, he has a chance for the Lions. Front of Holt, Dalport gets away from Andre Hubert. And the Lions go into the lead. Yeah, this is not too easy. And this is not always Andre Hubert. Fenter. And that's a clever little dummy there by AJ Fenter. Picked up by Marius Morstert. Willy Meyer, Johnson, LaRue, Fenter. Well, Vickers Fenter staying on his feet very strongly and ultimately gets away. This is Tinas Delport. Has he got the pace to get past and Sean Payne? Yes! No, says Andre Watson. It was a try. He was saying, get back. I thought he was saying it was knocked on. But Tinas Delport has got his second try. Two opportunities. Twice his touchdown, Aston Swart. Van der Valt gets back. Your Johnson rather couldn't make the tackle. Up towards the halfway line. Van Rensburg is in there. So was Smith and Fisser. Martins, tackle by his opposite number. Chester Williams, this could be a try for the Lions if Chester Williams can control picking it up rather than kicking it ahead. Has he got the touchdown? Yes, says Andre Watson, and look at the delight on Chester Williams' face. Now the shot. And AJ Fenter again, good work, pick up again. Johnson, he decides to go on his own. Engelbrecht at scrum half. Chance here to Leon Bossoff who wraps it up, 1999 is going to belong to the Lions. Ah, Volvo is under pressure, you have to put a point on it. And it's going to go It is such a difficult position for them to be in, trying to run the ball. The interception can come, Messina and LaRue do well for the Lions. Justin Swart now has to go to scrum half. And a well read by the Lions forwards. Thorne got it wide for AJ Fenter. Controls and gets try number five. Well, that'll be joy aplenty for the Lions players. And 
in the ultimate you can't really quibble against five tries to none Kubis Engelbrecht and just wide but that's the ball game 1999 belongs to the Lions AJ Fenter is absolutely de delighted as are the rest of the players they've worked very hard Laurie Maines and the manager William Ruiz and Hannes Schadem in his third final is the victorious captain well Devon what did you think of that